shows us. Rocket launcher. Hi, this is Master Payne and welcome to my channel. So yeah, after a little more than 6 months, I finally have got all 4 Ted boss armor parts. Ted Zarka, Kutum and Dandelion with Ted lesser accessories. Even though one piece still missing here is actually Ted Nuver, this setup opens the door to enjoy the RBF and any PvP gameplay with my main character instead of the trial one. Actually, just getting these Ted armors is the key here. Some of you might be interested why I chose this build and not something based around evasion. For me, this topic is completely subjective when it comes to sorceress and as long as it reduces the hits you take so that you don't get one shot during super armor and between iframes, it's gonna be all fine. I decided to go simple and what is meta. Damage reduction and resistances are in my opinion the best things to get for sorceress. This is something I was saying months ago, other than that it comes to your skills, don't get caught, do not engage into oblivion, do not overstay, know your limits, etc. Following rules like these will keep you healthy. Honestly I can't judge how good it is when it comes to how fast I did get these items. But for me, this is quite satisfactory, especially for the time I spent on playing the game. This is a result of good planning, patience, saving and using some of the opportunities. I won't go deep into the story, but there are few things to do which helped me along the way. And I will keep it simple as the bunch of rules to follow. Rule number one, avoid enhancing until you get so many resources that it will be almost guaranteed to get that. Buy desired items from the market instead. Since I decided to go this way, the game gave me so many free Valks, Scrolls and Blackstones that after a few months I was able to afford to try enhancement on Bags Gloves and Dim Tree Spirit Armor. And these two are the only things I have enhanced to Ted in my life. And without buying almost any stones or Memphrags. Rule 2. Buy cheaper equivalents on Ted rather than getting try accessories. Most of them are just 1 AP lower but have more accuracy. And with the Bartalis log bonus, this is not a big deal at all. Rule number 3. This is not much of a rule but simple life skilling model I chose to go with and stick to it. I took every node for copper, iron, coal, potatoes, chickens and two nodes for fish. With all that, I just process the metals when AFK, now and then I make food for workers and pets and some cooking for basic apprentice boxes, without any additional costs. If you start to focus more on life skilling like making advanced food, weapons or armor parts, you will realize that you need more materials which causes you to buy from the market and the time you spend on it is increasing. I prefer to grind or playing RBF instead polishing my PvP skills. The other benefit is that you don't need the value pack. Sell and get the revenues in intervals, you get the loyalty points for it. Rule 4. Just follow the events to get the most of them, the rift bosses, Bartalis quest and stuff. It's a free value basically. And the last but not least, the rule 5 and I would say this is the most important. Don't fall into greed and gambling. Make long-term plans and follow them step by step. Be patient, you will achieve more this way. Sticking to these makes me enjoy the gameplay without bad feelings. After all, the last thing I would like to experience is stress and frustration after a hard day at work. The goal for me now is getting Ted Nuver, which will bring that power spike into my PvP. After that I will do a little switching in the crystals to get more resistances. I will also explore the new ocean content and pile up the money for TED accessories. And these will probably involve a lot more time to get. As usually, if you enjoyed the video please give it a like and or leave a comment, subscribe if you didn't and I hope to see you soon, peace. Smell it like Versace rich Jizzy and Beyonce rich I'm rich, I'm rich, I'm rich